What's up guys? Today I'm doing a video on my Bulgarian Makarov, a pistol I almost didn't buy. What's funny is the pistols I bought before it. I have an Interarms PPKS and a CZ82. I always thought they were better looking guns than the Makarov and then, I don't know, I, I, I saw them for sale. One of my coworkers was like buying one and I, I I was like, you know what, screw it. I don't have a Makarov in my collection. Took it to the range and immediately, it's my favorite of the three pistols. That is really difficult through the camera, but uh, it's a pretty accurate little pistol. So the Makarov started production around 1953. It was aimed to replace the Russian pistols like the Tokarev. Now I think the Tokarev caliber is far superior than to the 9x18 caliber. The 7.62x25 was a pretty hot rod caliber. But the Makarov actually has a slide mounted safety. Whereas the Tokarev, you would have to chamber around, let the hammer go forward, and then pull it back to half cock. This locks up the slide, locks up the trigger. Now they do come with a safety for importation, but they are the stupidest safeties because all they do is block the trigger. That's, that's all it does. But this is how you're supposed to carry it or with an empty chamber. With this, I'd feel a lot safer carrying this thing with a round in the chamber because you put your round in, hit the decock or safety, it's on safe, and then you flick it off safety, you have a double action trigger, and then the slide cocks the hammer for single action for the following shots. Now, I, I ended up buying a PPK before I e even thought about buying a Makarov. I just think the James Bond era pistols are cool and I like the stainless look. I think this is a really attractive looking handgun, but it is not a pleasant shooter. It, it's snappy, it's not fun. I've heard of people getting hammer bite from this gun. I just think it's uncomfortable to shoot. I don't enjoy shooting this thing. Then you have the CZ82, which I bought because the price was really good. I liked the appearance of it, but it also is not pleasant to shoot. The Makarov, on the other hand, is actually a lot of fun to shoot because of its weight and the way it feels on my hands. It's actually a lot of fun to shoot this thing. I don't really enjoy shooting this pistol, though I think it's a good pistol. I like that it has a ambidextrous controls like the safety which is frame mounted and it's got a, a generous slide release and one thing i do like about it is it has a mag release has a double stack magazine that i believe holds 12 rounds and then when you're taking it apart you pull the trigger guard down and it locks down when you look at the other pistols like 
my PPK, you have to pull it down and it likes to slip back. At least with the Makarov, yeah, it, it, it's the same concept, but it stays in place a little better. But I do like that on the CZ82 it locks down, whereas these do not. But they all come apart exactly the same way. You pull down the trigger guard, pull the slide up, now, and that's all there is to it. The other two guns are exactly the same. Now, some people will say that the Makarov is a ripoff of the PPK. It's actually a simple, simplified version of the PPK. Very similar, blowback operated, but simplified. One interesting thing that I haven't seen anybody else talk about in videos is how both these pistols have one advantage over the other. So on the Makarov, you have a slide release. There is no slide release on the PPK, but the PPK has a mag release, whereas the Makarov has a heel release. Also weird thing is, I got them both cocked. When you want to decock the PPK, you flip the decocker down. The Makarov is opposite. You flip it up. But I enjoy shooting this thing. It is a reliable gun and it's a lot of fun to shoot. It has a low capacity magazine, which feels kind of flimsy, honestly, but I can't deny that it's reliable. one's kind of a kind of a pain to get in isn't it yeah yeah it's harder to see right now yeah it's tricky when the sun hits it it's just yeah. those sights are a little bit sparse Would I suggest this for a concealed carry pistol? Um, I mean, there's way worse options. I think it's a bit heavy, and with that bluing, you're gonna you're gonna be fighting rust with it. I think. Also, it's a low capacity handgun, and trying to find nine millimeter Makarov rounds can be well. It's not impossible, but it's not like you can just go into any gun shop and expect it expect them to have ammunition. Whereas I guarantee you, you go into any and you'll find 380s. But the, the ammunition isn't always the most um, prevalent. Also, I've noticed I got a hold of some hollow points. I wish I filmed it, but I didn't. And this gun struggled with the hollow points. So you'd be carrying ball ammo or whatever this gun preferred. Also, another disadvantage I've never seen anybody else mention is there is a lanyard loop on the grip right here. And if you're left-handed, it just 
it doesn't feel the greatest in your hands. But aside from that, it's reliable, it's accurate. I mean, if you wanted to carry this for concealed carry, they do make holsters and it's not a bad option. It's just not one that I would probably go with personally. But I do like that I bought it. I can't believe I waited as long as I did because this gun is actually a joy to shoot and I want to shoot it more. It makes me sad that I can't find ammo as easily. I always have to buy it online. But I bought these with the rosewood grips or not rosewood. <laughs> yeah, these are rosewood. <laughs> no, with the Bakelite grips. When I was uh, considering buying one, I was seeing them with black grips and I want to say that was a big reason why I never bought one of these is with the black grips, it just kind of bored me. But then I saw these bake like grips on it and I'm like, oh my God, yes, I, I want that. <laughs> I want that in my life. And like I said, one of my coworkers, one of my friends bought one of these and I saw it with those rosewood grips. I'm like, fuck yeah. Wasn't the first time I shot one. I, I shot one a couple of years. Well, man, that was a long time ago. Maybe like six years ago, I shot a magazine through and I was like, well, it seems like a quality made gun, but once you shoot it a little bit more, you realize this thing is awesome. I, I really love it. <laughs> and I see why it has such a cult-like following. It's the AK of the pistol world. That time I got it and the sun just hits it wrong so that sight kind of like disappears that front sight but i was able to see it for all eight shots well all nine shots that time